Hello everybody and welcome to the channel Crossing Spiritual Streams. My name is Tandra and we're doing our weekly Tarot Pick a Pile reading and today's topic is um, advice and messages for your friend's situation. So basically this reading will be about um, a friend of yours and uh, maybe some advice or information or uh, something that might help them uh, out in their current situation whatever that might be. So uh, that's what today's reading is about. This is a timeless reading. So if you run across this reading and feel compelled to watch it, it should uh, be at least have one pile there that uh, should give you some kind of information that you need. You can watch more than one pile if you feel compelled to do so, especially since we have more than one friend. We might have uh, more than one friend in need of different advice or different situations. So you definitely can do that uh, if you wish. Uh, I would like to let you know that we now have a Facebook page that you can go to and uh, like and, and sign up for so that you can be notified. Um, we try to put up these videos over there, uh, a link to them so that people know uh, that they've come up because YouTube isn't very good at letting people know that. Uh, also, we'd like to invite you to sign up for Patreon if you haven't already done so. Um, it's as little as a dollar a month. You get to choose what you want to sign up for. And you get um, access to our daily uh, readings as well as um, a special monthly reading that we do over there. And hopefully um, as time goes on, when we get more Patreon members, we will try to do even more exclusives. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to uh, give you some time to reflect here. We have Pile 1 with the Blue Stone. Pile 2 with the diamond type stone and pile three with the red stone. We're going to give you some time and then when you are ready, there'll be timestamps in the description that will take you directly to the reading or readings that you would like to watch. And we'll see you there. Hello, Pile One. Welcome to the reading. Uh, you chose the blue stone here, and you wanted uh, information on uh, your friend's situation, what you can do to help, or advice, or um, you know, different information that might be useful to them. So we're going to look at our tarot cards. We're going to look at our charms. We're going to do oracle spheres. That's where you can think of a yes or no question uh, to get an answer to. We're going to do all those things. So let's find out. Uh, what we can find out about your, your friend's situation, okay? All right, we've got the Page of Cups. We got the Ace of Pentacles. We got the Ten of Swords. We got the Ace of Wands. We got the Abundance, or the Three of Cups. We've got the Tower card. We've got the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Three of Swords. And then we have the um, Thought card. Okay. Well, the information that I'm getting here is one of a couple of different things. Um, one is that they could have gone through recently a kind of earth shattering moment um, with the tower card here and with the three of swords and the ten of swords. Um, it could have been something, you know, a heartache, a very painful breakup, something like that. Um, it could have been... Uh, you know, losing someone very close to them or, uh, you know, something along that nature um, or a lot of other different uh, scenarios. But basically something totally rattled their their universe. It's totally um, changed up what's going on. It's probably keeping them, uh, I'm thinking, somewhat... Um, 
maybe they're depressed, maybe they're kind of uh, unwilling to kind of get out in the world right now. Maybe they've been holed up at home quite a bit, uh, you know, deep in thought because of, you know, this kind of thing. Maybe they're unwilling to kind of get back out there again um, amongst friends and family and, and other people like that. That's a possibility. Um, depression is definitely a word that's coming to mind. I could feel like they, they might be quite depressed over what has gone on. Um, that is one scenario that I'm coming up with, and that's probably for most of you, that's probably the scenario that's going on here, um, is that has happened. There's a lot of other cards here that show a new beginning, that show um, that things could be better for them, that um, it's time to get kind of get back out into the world and, you know, rely on their friends and family. Um, they have a, a rich amount of people who care about them, including you. Um, and they may not realize that. They may not know that. Um, and they're on the brink of being able to be refreshed, be renewed, get back out into life again, get back out. Um, and start experiencing things again. There's a lot of really good new new energy going on here. Um, with the Ace of Wands. That shows that they could have a lot more uh, fiery passion again. We got the Page of Cups. That's kind of a new energy uh, with pages there. We got the Ace of Pentacles. Um, you know, so the earthly desires and so forth. So we've got all of that going on that shows how they could be in a new energy, um, start living life again, I guess, is kind of the way um, it's coming through to me. And I also feel like they have, like, very strong people on their side that can help them with this. And that was probably you or probably one of those people, since you were willing uh, to watch this uh, reading and, and wanting to... Um, you know, find out what was going on with their situation and help them. So, um, I really feel like some very strong, tough minded, uh, individuals are in their corner and are there to help them, um, help them see, uh, the new opportunities and the new, um, way that their life can go now. Um, because they're still here and, you know, if they've gone through a heartache of losing a loved one, that's, that's always really, really hard, but, um, and that grief won't go away uh, for a very long time, if ever. Uh, sometimes it never does entirely go away, um, and we don't expect that. But they need to be amongst the living again and living their life again, um, even with the grief, even with that. Now, if they've had a heartache, uh, you know, due to somebody leaving them or, or, you know, stabbing them in the back or being false to them or other things like that. You know, once again, you can't let that dictate the rest of your life. You need to, uh, you know, try again. You know, that particular love wasn't meant for them and so forth. If it's some other situation that has caused them to kind of spiral into this um, depression and this, you know, brooding kind of energy, um, if it is that... Uh, you know, something else that has caused that, then it still holds true that, you know, getting back out there, putting yourself, you know, a toe in the water, so to speak, you know, doing a little bit more will help ease the pain from that experience. We all go through moments in our lives that are very, very, very painful. And it's how we deal with those and how we come back out of those that's important and that shapes our lives. And having you as a friend and other friends that they have is very important at this time. And the advice um, that I'm kind of getting here more than anything is to show them how much you care, to show them how much you're there for them and that you're their rock and you're their strong presence that they need and that they are also strong and that you will help lead them and guide them and support them throughout this journey and, you know, be there for the hard part. 
um, as well as the easy parts. And that's that's the important thing is that you need to show them that, that um, they do have friends, they do have people that care, they do have um, things that make life worth living and people that make life worth living and that um, can help ease any kind of pain that they've gone through. And so that's the important um, advice for them um, that's, ha that's happening now. We do have charms to look at to see if there's anything else about this situation or uh, whatever that we can get. So why don't we go ahead and look at those and then our oracle spheres. Okay. One of the things that I got from this reading uh, quite strongly was that they are brooding a lot. They are deep in thought. They are almost stuck in this situation um, where they almost don't think about much else. And that is keeping them kind of stuck in place. Uh, so that's just something for you to know that might help arm you with, you know, the situation or how to deal with it. I thought I had some other stuff come through. Um, you know, there's there a couple of scenarios, but actually the other one was more hazy and never really fully developed. So um, it must have just been the one. Um, if something else comes through in the charms, I'll, of course, let you know. Okay, we got a two. That's great. That shows the friendship between the two of you. That shows the bond um, that you can do uh, between the two of you. We've got young and strong. I think that that's really important. Um that you guys are, you know, still have a lot of life left to go. You still have a lot to do. And showing them how strong they are with those swords cards and swords energy too. Um, I think that's really um, important there and was really good to do. We do have warrior. Was once again, that shows strength. That shows, uh, you know, somebody that will fight for them. Um, and that they are a warrior and they can fight for themselves as well. And then also trust. Um, it's important uh, that they realize that they can trust you and that uh, they do have people in their lives that they can trust. That's very important uh, right now for them. We do have the Eight of Wands. That is a good energy for this reading because the Eight of Wands is swiftly moving things. So that means that their life could swiftly move towards a better energy and towards... Um, more things that they want in their life. You know, it's a good manifestation card as well. Um, and I like that. I do like the cherries here, the double cherries, because, um, you know, I see that once again is showing the two of you together, the paired, you know, you're bunched together. Um, you know, you're sparkly, you're ruby, you're beautiful. Um, so I do like that. We do have the star dream. And we have be true to you. Um... The other thing we have is made with love. Um, we have the French horn. We have a W. Um, a W could stand for, I saw, I saw the word we for some reason, but um, you know, it could be an initial, could mean something to you. Water, water some, for some reason uh, flows to mind. We also have the, the shell, the fan. So water um, that way. Uh, Taking them near some water might be helpful, like going to a lake or a beach or, um, a, you know, go out on a river and, you know, and do some kayaking or some, you know, paddle boating or something like that. Uh, I don't know why that came through, but that could be calming or helpful or restful to the person. Um, I, you know, somehow water kind of plays in there a little bit. We also have the elephant. Elephants are great. They are wonderful, family-oriented, herd-oriented animals. Uh, they care very much about the people in their tribe, the, the other elephants in their tribe. Um, they grieve when they die. They, you know, have rituals that they perform. They bond very closely to their... Uh, children and, and you know siblings and other people in their tribe. So they're, um, that's where I kind of see the strength of the elephant as well as the family bonds and ties. This person is basically family to you and you have that tie and that bond uh, that you just need to show them and let them know how close you are um, and how much you mean to them. 
um, or how much they mean to you, I guess, is um, the way I wanted to state that. Let's go ahead and look at our Oracle Spheres. You think of a yes or no question that you would like to get an answer to. And then we have four stands for you to choose from. We have gold, green, purple, and silver. You decide which one you'd like to get your answer on. You think of a yes or no question, and then we go get your answers. And boy, that's... <laughs> I don't have a lot of room here on the thing, so it's going to fall off. Okay, let's put that back in there. All right, and let's get our answers here. Well, where did it go? That's odd. I thought... I thought one came out, but... <laughs> I don't see it. Okay. We have a very likely for gold. We have a no for green. We have a not sure for purple. And... A not now for silver. So we have a very likely, a no, a not sure, and a not now. So there's your Oracle Sphere answers for today's reading. Thank you very much for being here and being part of the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, we do invite you to do so. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Give the video a thumbs up and share the channel with your friends and family. We cannot stress to you how important that is uh, to the channel and to our growing. And we very much appreciate all of you who do those things for us. We look forward to seeing you again in other videos. We put out our daily uh, reading on YouTube on Wednesday. Uh, we do have other daily readings that go up on Patreon the rest of the week. And then we do these uh, weekend uh, reading uh, that we do. And then we also have a special monthly reading on uh, Patreon as well. So we look forward to seeing you again, and may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pal 2. Welcome to your reading. You chose the uh, kind of diamond-looking uh, stone here. Uh, this is advice and messages for your friend's current situation, or situation, you know, coming up that you can help them with. So... Uh, let's find out what their situation is and what advice or uh, information that you might need to know or that you might have to help. So let's see what we've got here. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Hierophant. We've got the Eight of Cups. Interesting. Okay. We got the Abandoned Success, or the Eight of Cups again. Okay. We got the Peace Card, or the Two of Swords. We got the Established Strength, or the Three of Wands. We got the High Priestess. We got the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Interesting. And then we have a Sweetheart. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. The first thing uh, that came to mind and that seems to be happening here is there's something going on with their work or with their spouse's work or significant other's work. There's something going on with a career or work type of thing. Okay. Uh, so if that's, you know, not resonating or you don't know anything happening with that, then, um, but it, it might be tied to their spouse or to their family situation or something like that. There might be a, a tie here somewhere, like maybe they might have an opportunity to move and they don't really know if they want to, or there's, I get the feeling there might be problems with a boss in some situation or a higher up. Um, I also feel like they might be trying to make a decision with their career uh, based on their family or a fiancé or a significant other or something like that. Um, I feel like they're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here a little bit. I either feel like there's a decision that they need to make and they're not sure which way to go and it's a really hard decision and it's really, really rough 
or there's problems at their work with a higher individual and they're sticking it out but they're maybe want to change but uh they're not sure if they should or i think they're worried about um the situation if they do just leave their job because you know they might not have another one to go to and how that might affect their family and so forth so there's there's those couple of different types of situations or scenarios going on but it is related to work in some way and i do also believe a family uh, their family or significant other is also playing a factor in it in some way. Either they're worried about how it will affect them or something along the lines with them uh, might be, you know, affecting their decision. Um, I do also think that there is a decision to make. I do feel like, you know, they're trying to decide between a couple of different scenarios and they really feel like they're just, you know, kind of damned if they do and damned if they don't sort of situation maybe um they want to do stuff to make their family happy and prosperous and things going really well um but they want to be happy as well they don't want to continue to do a job that you know is not fulfilling to them or has issues with the boss or other things like that um also if it has to do with traveling or moving you know they they might have to move away from somebody that they care about and have a long distance relationship for a while. Uh, that could be a really rough kind of situation. So there's, there's those types of scenarios uh, going through here. So I get the feeling that um, the only tie that this group really has is it's work related, um, either for your friend or for their spouse or significant other um, that has something to do with work and, and their job and their career and so forth. Um, otherwise, the scenarios are, are quite different uh, for each one of them. Uh, you know, the different things happening, different things going on. Um, I do feel like there is a tough decision to make, and uh, they're not sure which way to go. Advice for you on this, or to help them out, a couple of different things. One is if it is affecting or has something to do with a significant other or a spouse or a fiancé, or you know somebody like that if it if it affects them directly if it has something to do with them or their decision is based on them a lot advise them to actually talk to that person and advise them to actually uh, talk it through uh, with that person get advice from them their thoughts their feelings on the situation because that might help them make a decision um, that is one uh, type of advice because maybe they're not really willing to talk to them about it much because um, maybe they're afraid of their reaction or other things like that. I'm not sure. I kind of get that feeling for some of them anyway that they're not necessarily willing to talk to them. Now, if it's not really related uh, to a spouse or a family member or another person in that way, it just might affect their family or something. Um, in that scenario, I get the idea that, they're, that that's the situation where there's a problem with the boss. Um, that, you know, the boss is either, you know, picking on them, sexually harassing them, um, making life so difficult they can't continue to work there, something, okay, with the boss. And I feel like that decision is maybe they're reluctant to leave the job because, you know, what they can give their family because of the job and, and so forth, and they're reluctant to leave, um, uh, maybe, but they're so miserable, um, that they're just not sure what to do. In that situation, you really need to advise them that not only, you know, their family in the long run will not be happy if they are not happy, okay? Um, they might temporarily be happy with some things or some types of stuff uh, that's going on or maybe the monetary issue is really good and, they, you know, they can be happy with that. But there's more to... There's more to life than that, and eventually they won't be happy um, just for the material things that this job can give them, okay? What's coming to mind is the new Cheaper by the Dozen movie. Um, I sometimes get popular cultural references that help me out with readings, and this is what's come to mind is they wanted to move up, and he was happy over, you know, being able to give the family a better residence and a 
you know, uh, a bigger home and all this other stuff, but they weren't happy there. That wasn't them That they, because they didn't get to see him as often. And, uh, you know, a lot of other things, you know, went wrong and they were much happier in their prior situation. And once he realized that and was able to correct it and, and do what would fix it, they were much happier. And that's kind of the advice, you know, we have for your friend here is that if they are miserable in their work in any way, shape or form, their family eventually will not be happy as well. And they need to know that. They need to realize that. Okay, so if that's the scenario, that is kind of some advice to go on there. Why don't we move on to our charm, see if there's any other information about this uh, or uh, advice or anything else we might get. Okay, let's see here. Let's get... All right. Okay. We do have the four. The four is the family number. It is the home number. It is uh, dealing with the family, making the family, um, you know, happy and so forth. And that is, it's also a foundational number. And that's very important. Uh, so considering the family in the decision is important. Uh, but like I said, if it is a situation where they're not happy with what they're doing uh, or the situation that they're in, uh, that staying in it will not make their family happy and they need to realize that and to know that because that's something that uh, you know, maybe they're not thinking of. We do have a D and an S. Uh, those could be initials, those could be beginning of words, whatever might uh, resonate with you that way. So we've got that going on. We do have the skull and crossbones. So I do feel like in a lot of the situation there is a person or somebody that is kind of throwing um, a monkey wrench into things. It's kind of making things difficult, uh, you know, in whatever way, uh, shape or form. But there, you know, there is somebody that they need to watch out for, uh, be careful of and so forth. Even this particular one has, it shows a spider in the web. So, you know, there could be some people kind of working against them. Um, and that's another reason why they might need to leave uh, their job or, you know, so forth. Um, we do have the mermaid, which is interesting because that's kind of a transformational energy. And I do feel like they might be going through um, that this is a good time for them to transform and to, you know, uh, move on and that things should work out better when they do. It's also kind of a good idea to get their wishes underway as well because um, the mermaid made a wish and we also have a make a wish here in success. So if they want success and so forth, they need to follow their dreams, make a wish, you know, and go for it um, and do that because that's something that sometimes is hard for people to do as well. We do have the eight of spades. Once again, it's related to work um, and so forth, but it's also kind of a stuck situation. They might feel stuck or like they can't move uh, forward. We do have the six of hearts or the six of cups. Um, this could very much... Uh, Advice on that could be to have them think back to their childhood and what they wanted to see their life uh, be like and their work be like because maybe they haven't followed that track and maybe kind of getting back on that track again might be good for them. So that's just kind of something to throw out there. If that resonates with you, then uh, that's something to think about as well. We do have the angel heart here. Um, and we also have the bone. Um the dog bone here, I almost always think of strength. I think of tenacity, holding on uh, like a dog with a bone who doesn't want to give it up. Uh, they might be kind of in that mode where they're not willing to give up. They're not willing to let it go. They're not willing to, uh, you know, bury it and leave it be and, and do something different. Uh, so... Once again, that has to do specifically with specific scenarios. So if that resonates with you, then you'll know uh, that that's what we're talking about here um, is it might be time to bury it. It might be time to give it up. It might be time uh, to move on because sometimes, you know, holding on to it. And my, my dog, little Annabeth, precious dog you'd ever want to meet, but she has problems with food. Um, if she has food or a bone or a treat or you know, something to chew on. 
uh, she doesn't like to let it go. Um, and sometimes she'll just keep running back to it to make sure nobody else gets it. And she doesn't really, you know, because she's unwilling to let it go, she might miss out on, you know, going outside and playing or, you know, miss out on something else that she wants to do because she's too busy protecting this bone. And that is kind of a scenario I might be getting for some of you guys here, for some of the friends that you guys have. That might be something, they might be holding on to this so tightly that they're seeing, they're missing other opportunities and other things. So that's just something for you to think about um, and be able to talk them through that as well. All right, let's take a look at your Oracle Spheres here. This is where you can think of a yes or no question. We have number one, silver. We have number two, uh, purple. Number three, green. And number four, gold. So you think of a yes or no question and pick a stand and then we go and we get your answers. So let's see what answers we've got today. Oh my. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let that go. Oops, cards drop in here. All right, let's try this again. Let's get us our Oracle Spheres. Oh my goodness. You guys might be having trouble thinking of a question. That's what it is. Well, the universe might be having trouble answering it. <laughs> Not sure. Yep, yeah, they're having trouble answering it. You know, the question wasn't very clear. Or some scenario will have to play out first before an answer can be known because it might change up the outcome. Alrighty, number two is it not likely for the purple. For the three green, it's not now. And the four gold is a probable. So there are your Oracle Sphere answers for today. Thank you so much for being here and being part of the channel. If you have not subscribed to the channel, we do invite you to do so. Also, if you could give us a thumbs up, leave us comments in the comment section, share the channel with your friends and family. All of those things are super, super, super important to the channel. We can't even tell you how much. Um, I know every YouTuber asks for it, and that's, you know, there are reasons for that. It's because it really helps the algorithm get um, the videos out to people, so it helps the channel grow greatly. Uh, we do uh, have our daily reading that we do on Wednesdays on YouTube as well as the weekly reading that we do on the weekends. We have our daily other readings that we do every day over on Patreon as well as our special monthly reading over there. So if you'd like to sign up over there you can uh, check that out. We look forward to seeing you again in future videos and may the stars guide your path. Bye bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. Those of you that chose the red stone here, we're going to move it off to the side. This is information about um, your friend's current situation. It's information about it, maybe some advice you might give or how you might be able to handle it or help them out with it. Um, so here we go. Let's find out what's going on here. We've got the moon card. we got the king of swords. We got the Knight of Swords. We got the Temperance card. We got the Magician. We got the Unstable Effect or the Seven of Swords. We got the Nine of Swords. We got the King of Wands. We got the Five of Cups. And a letter for information. Okay. Hmm. Well, one of the things, your friend is extremely powerful. Um, I mean, wow. The King of Wands and um, the King of Swords and, and the Magician. Uh, wow. I mean, they are very powerful people spiritually go uh spiritually speaking um they they can bring about things in their life incredible things um <laughs> this message comes through sometimes from spirit uh where people um don't realize how 
good they are at something or how blessed they are at something or uh, that they get stuck in the past too much or their own fears keep them from moving forward and so forth. And the message that comes through with that, whenever that happens, is get out of your own way. Okay. And so I feel like that's the message that your friend needs to hear is that they need to get out of their own way. Um, because I feel like they are dwelling on the past too much. They are worried about, you know, possible outcomes. You know, what if this happens or what if it doesn't work out or what if I do this and then that happens and, um, you know, they have a lot of unfounded worries and fears. They, you know, are looking at the negative side of things more than the positive and so forth. Um, I feel like that is kind of the scenario that they're in. They may do this a lot. This may be something um, that's kind of a personality trait for them. Uh, that, that's a possibility. But uh, they really need to balance out their thoughts and emotions about their situation and about whatever it is that's agonizing them or uh, whatever's going on. They really need to balance um, that energy because what they are doing is they're so strong, they're so powerful, and they just don't realize it. They have no clue um, that they could just, just totally bring forth just some amazing things in their lives um, if they could get out of their own way if they could get past um, their worries and thoughts and fears. Now, it's interesting that we have the letter card here or the message. I feel like you need to get this message across to them um, that they need to get out of their own way. That somehow or another, you need to find a way to have them understand this without hating you and without, you know... Um, totally disregarding what you have to say to them and so forth because sometimes you can't just say things like that to people um so putting it down in a letter or in some other written information uh could be useful or another thing that you could uh suggest i think that might be useful to them is for them to journal or to write uh, their thoughts and feelings down um, and maybe share them with you. That could be useful. Um, or if they're afraid to do that or don't like that idea, then at least write them down and then think about them. And then once they've written them down, maybe they won't have so much weight. They won't uh, be so heavy in their baggage. You know, maybe, um, you know, be like taking it out of their backpack and making it not quite so heavy. Uh, to carry and, and you know and being able to look at it a little bit more objectively and things like that by actually getting it out that way and not just having it stick stuck in their mind all the time so that might be some advice that you might give them um, that might be useful to them um, and it might help them uh, you know get through some of this energy uh, so that they can start doing some great awesome things in their lives so that they can accomplish uh, some wonderful things and some other um, things like that because they really are kind of stuck in, in getting in their own way here um they are kind of stopping themselves from moving forward and, and improving their lives in, in whatever situation that they're dwelling on it could be about pretty much anything in their life but uh, they really do hinder themselves they really do keep themselves from moving forward and um you know your best bet is to try to help them see that um help them know that they are powerful, but also um, help them find ways to maybe uh, get out of that energy. Because once we get stuck in that energy, it's really hard to get out of. Um, and, you know, you being there as a friend to help them with that is, is probably the best thing uh, for them. And, you know, and, and, you know, you recognizing the situation and you realizing, you know, how hard this is, but that they realize that they've got somebody on the, in the corner and somebody that believes in them and so forth. Um, should help uh, and also being able to give them advice on ways that they can work through this because I think in their own mind they would like to think that they could do these things or that these things might happen for them but they just keep uh, other things keep intruding and stopping them so they really want to do well and and to improve and get through these things it's just you know they keep getting stuck 
All right, why don't we go ahead and look at the charms, see if there's anything else um, about this scenario or any other advice or any other things we might have going on here, and then we'll go um, and look at your oracle spheres. Okay, let's get the charms out here. Okay. We have the number one. Uh, that shows leadership qualities. That also shows, um, you know, thinking um, about number one and things like that. Um, you know, thinking about, you know, themselves and so forth. Um, we do have the butterfly, which is transformational energy. Um, them transforming into something wonderful and beautiful could be great. Um, we do have the cancer energy, which is... Uh, you know, the emotional energy, it's also the grounding energy, um, and so forth. We have some really great messages here. We have a G and an R. Those could be initials, those could be beginnings of words, other things like that. So whatever uh, resonates with you that way. We also have the mermaid fins, which goes along with the butterfly here of transformation. We have in my heart, choose happy, stay curious, dream, willpower, and every journey starts with one step. So, these are things to help you, uh, first of all, uh, you know, giving them the willpower to go and try and work and dream. Uh, telling them to, you know, choose the happy side of things. Uh, you know, that, that is something you can do, is you can choose to look at the happier things um, and the better side of it. Um, let them know that you're that they're in your heart and that you care about them. Uh, also, that every journey starts with one step, and help them to understand that uh, just take one step forward, and then uh, you know alleviate their fears enough to go one step, and then if that works out okay, take the next step, and then the next, and then the next, and then they'll see that they can uh, move forward and do better and so forth. So encourage them to, to do just the one step. Encourage that. Um, you know, <coughs> don't worry about, oh, the whole outcome. Just one step at a time. Take take one initial step and see how that goes. Okay? Uh, let me get your Oracle Sphere stands here. Alright. We have four different stands. We have silver, green, purple, and gold. You decide which one you'd like to get your answer on. You think of a yes or no question, and then uh, we'll get your answers. So, number one silver is a probable. Number two green is a yes. Number three purple is a maybe. And number four, gold. Is also a maybe. So we have a probable, a yes, a maybe, and a maybe. So there's your Oracle Straight Answers for today. Thank you so much for being here and being part of the reading. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share the channel with your friends and family, and leave us comments. All of those things are so important to the channel we can't even tell you how much we know youtubers ask for this stuff all the time um there's a charm here i'll go ahead and tell you about it uh it's a perfume bottle um so that means uh success in my opinion that means uh when i think of perfumes i think of things like chanel number five and and all that stuff and i think of those fancy um you know people coming out with you unique uh, perfumes and you know doing very well and very successful and so that's just what I think of it so whatever perfume might mean to you you might uh, let that go with the reading as well all right guys we do look forward to seeing you again please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so check out patreon check us out on facebook we're at crossing the spiritual streams everywhere we're at and we do look forward to seeing you again so may the stars guide your path bye bye